Hello, in this video we're going to look at a bond valuation problem where we're trying to find the yield to maturity with semi-annual coupon interest payments. So here's a problem. We have a 15-year bond. The bond has a typical face value of $1,000 and pays a 10% coupon interest payment with semi-annual interest payments. The current price of the bond is $1,523.98. Our goal is to find the yield to maturity. So a few things. The annual coupon interest payment would be $100, just as 10% of 1000 But since we're getting this interest payment twice a year, our semi-annual interest payment will be $100 divided by 2, or $50 every six months. The number of periods in this bond is 15 times 2, the 15 years, but we're getting payments twice a year, so the number of periods is really 30 here. The interest rate per period uh, is technically I divided by 2 to, again, take into the semi-annual nature of this bond. So it's just not I, it's I divided by 2. And the math formula in terms of solving the yield to maturity is basically trying to solve this equation. The 1523.98 is the present value of these discounted payments that extend 30 periods. 50 represents the semi-annual coupon interest payment. Uh, so at the end of June, you'll get a $50 payment, for example. Uh, here we got, again, I divided by 2 to take into the nature of the semi-annual payment. And we do this for 30 periods. In the final period, in the final 30th period, we'll get our interest payment and we'll also get the face value of the bond back. Our goal is to solve for I, to get the yield to maturity. We're going to do this in Excel. We're going to use the Excel spreadsheet command rate <clears throat> that takes these parameters. Let me explain what they are. NPR is the total number of payments, so in our problem it's going to be 30. PMT is the size of the payment each period. So that will be $50. PV is going to be negative or minus the current bond price. It's negative because uh, from the investor's point of view, when you buy the bond, you're giving out cash, so a negative cash flow. Uh, FV will be the face value of the bond. Uh, type, we can put in zero or leave blank for payments that end at the end of each period. And that's usually the assumption we make in these problems. Okay, uh, if you wanted to have the payments start at the beginning of each period, you would just put in one for type. Uh, guess is uh, also optional. Uh, if Excel's having a hard problem converging on an answer, you might want to supply a guess uh, for the yield to maturity, some number between zero and one. Uh, we need to do one other thing. We need to multiply. Uh, this times 2 here, we need to multiply the result by 2 to put the yield to maturity on uh, the, an the annual basis. So once again, this is our math equation, taking that information and plugging it into the formula. 30 is the number of periods, 50 is the payment. The current bond price is minus 1523.98. The face value is 1,000. I'm leaving everything else blank the type and the guess I'm leaving blank, and then the multiplication by 2. Uh, what we can do is just type this formula in any blank cell in Excel, uh, like A1, for example, and if you do that, it'll return a result of 5%. So 5% represents the yield to maturity on this bond. So if you were to buy this bond today and hold it to maturity, you would get a 5% return. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.